Hey everyone, welcome back to where we are testing every mask on Amazon. I see we're testing all of the American made masks. Very excited to test uh, my brothers over at Demitech. Uh, they make a great product. They're the largest surgical mask manufacturer in the United States. That started during the pandemic. They can produce 120 million masks a month. That's crazy. That's over a billion masks a year. That's insane. Their facility is huge. They've been making medical products for 20 years, but they just started making masks in response to the pandemic. Thank you guys. Let's test this guy. All right, put this on the, uh, in the clamp machine. There's always oh, spongier. Got it clamped the PFE and we are off to the races. This is a particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about that, check it out. It's a video where I explain it. All right, Demitech, let's talk about Demitech. So love these guys, um, known them for a while. Super, they, they were making, I think, dental sutures and stuff before the pandemic. They decided to convert 200,000 square feet into surgical mass production, very impressive operation. Uh, you can check out their website. Uh, it's demitech.us. Couldn't couldn't pop for the .com, huh, guys? Or maybe you were just going hard on the USA. Okay, I'll give you that. Uh, if you're gonna buy them, I'd probably buy them on their website, but look at all these products they have. They, they're they a huge company in terms of like uh, all the other mask manufacturers started. Really impressive products. Uh, we, of course, bought theirs on Amazon and very basic listing on here. Um, and they're making a lot of claims. They're making a ton of claims. They're claiming that these masks are medical masks and they are gonna protect you because they are. They are medical masks. They're on the FDA's website. They're a 510K mask. Uh, they're F FDA cleared um, and they're an ASTM level three mask. And what that means as they will tell you on the box is that it has 98% filtration at 0.1 microns, which is exactly what this machine is meant to test. So. I hope it's a good mask. I hope it's a good test because I've been pumping them up, haven't I? All right. I like, this is the only box that has the perforated edge that actually opened properly for me, but it's probably because they've been making these types of products for, for years. I don't like, here's a ding. I don't like that it's not sealed uh, inside, but it was sealed in outer plastic on the outside. So um, probably not gonna affect the smell too much. These are, that one's, that one's a little folded. Looks like it got pushed back in the box a little bit. Um, but overall, like, look at that. Look at that fold over. They're doing a really great job on the welds. They got their name right at, up there. They're putting their money where their mouth is. Pretty good mask. Great nose wire, by the way, uh, in this one. And uh, wow, these are like the nicest, I swear, the nicest ear loops that I've ever, they're just like so soft and they, and they, it is very spongy. And like, look at this. I mean, it's got, if you apply enough pressure to anything, but that, that's a good, I'm giving them 10 on that. I mean, I'm really pulling on that. You could definitely hold up a bald eagle with this. Like a fat bald eagle. Now let's do the smell test. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, I'm definitely getting a, a cardboard smell here, um, and, which makes sense. It's been, it's, it's been basically kissing cardboard its entire life. So uh, in fact, that's what I'm gonna call this smell, kissing cardboard. That's what it smells like. I mean, it's not offensive, but it is uh, present. And so I would, I would give that probably a 20 out of 25. Um, all right. Does any of that matter though, if it doesn't protect you? Now remember, they're making hella claims. Hella claims. They're making claims on the listing. They're making claims on their website. They're making claims to the FDA. Oh man, if they don't match up to these claims, they could actually be in legal trouble. Like if this test, which I haven't looked at yet, doesn't hit 98% or better, they could actually be sued. This is a big deal. Like, I'm kind of nervous for them right now, to be honest. Because number one, I amped them up. And number two, like, there's a lot on the line. They're making a lot of claims. So what does it say? Ah, 99.168. 99.168. That's a great, I think that's the best test. I mean, aside from the arm brows mask. Uh, that I have seen come through this. This is great. Actually, the 3M mask, I think, did 100%, but it was an N95. This is a great mask. This is a great mask, 99.168. Insane breathability. 
53.8 pascals. That just like kicks the crap out of my masks. Um, so super breathable, uh, great uh, filtration. I'd buy this mask. If I didn't own a mask factory, like this would be my go-to mask, I imagine. Um, nice work, Demotech, uh, and all the work you do there. Thank you for setting this up. Uh, it's really it's really important. They, I mean, these guys could basically mask most of the United States in a pandemic, so I, I appreciate that. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you appreciated this review. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you're from Demotech, you better give me a like. You better. All right, I will catch you on the next task. Thank you.